Welcome to Mindless Entertainment. My name is Jesse Milestone, and today is everyone's favorite day of the week. Guys, it's Social Justice Wednesday, the day where I try to get into the minds of the enemy and see if their thoughts in their head and try to appropriate their thoughts because they hate appropriation. So um, before we get into today's video, I just want to discuss the fact that a lot of people have been saying, a lot of people have been saying, oh my God, Social Justice Wednesday, Jesse uh, needs to have blue hair because like everyone who's social justice needs to have blue hair. And I just wanna say that's like a really damaging stereotype, first of all. Uh, first of all, it's like really damaging to just assume that we all have blue hair, so like, ew. Uh, second of all, uh, I just want you all to know I identify as having blue hair, okay? So don't like be so colorist, okay? Just cause you're like, oh, your hair looks blonde to me, whatever. Uh, that doesn't mean that I have blonde hair, okay? I, it's not It's not like what you see on the outside, okay? It's how I identify. My identity is really important and I identify as being having blue hair, so everyone just cool it, okay? Blue hair. Get it in your minds. Anyway, today, I have a very important topic to discuss. Uh, we need to talk about um, the rumor, this like super awesome rumor going around right now that Rey from Star Wars, um, like the most important character in the most important Star Wars movies, um, is going to have a role in a future trilogy. Um, and like people are saying probably Ryan Johnson's trilogy because she's like, he's like super sweet on Rey. And obviously that would be the best choice because Ryan Johnson clearly uh, is the wokest and is so good at social justice. So, you know, I would love to see that happen because uh, he clearly knows everything about social justice, uh, like uh, making sure that the black character did not end up with a white woman. <laughs> Weird how that one works. Anyway, I digress. Uh, the world just isn't ready for that yet, okay? And anyway, like forget those old stereotypes, those old ideas that like, oh my God, a black man can't be with a white woman. Like that's antiquated. We don't need to worry about that anymore. We need to worry about just eradicating whiteness. So the fact that they made him want to get, that Ryan Johnson made him want to get with the Asian because like double minority equals like super extra bonus points. So like forget your old school narrative about like white women because nobody cares about white women anymore. Um, and start thinking like real social justice minded, like black person more virtuous than white person Asian person, more virtuous than white person, put them together, extra virtue. Anyway, back to the original point, Ray, even though like she's white and I get it, it's terrible, she's still a woman, which makes her better than all of the men. So this idea, so moving forward, it kind of sounds like the rumor is that she's gonna be this sort of Luke Sky, like the way we wanted Luke Skywalker to be in these movies, where like as the, you know, seasoned Jedi who is there to be the wise counsel for the new Jedi, like the Obi-Wan for Luke, and then the way like Luke, you know, was supposed to be for Ray, but like shouldn't have been because like we don't need another white guy as a mentor. Um, so essentially like they're replacing the Luke idea. They're just replacing Luke Skywalker completely with uh, Ray, And that's the best idea, obviously. Why do I even need to say it? It's because Ray is a woman, which means she's better than any man, duh. So like, this is the whole thing. You don't ever have all these complaints about like, oh my God, why isn't her character written better? Why hasn't she earned any of this? Why hasn't she actually trained or studied to be a Jedi the way Luke did? Guys, she doesn't need to, all right? You need to worry about all these things like good writing and character development for your male characters because they're so intrinsically flawed by simply having a penis. And women are so intrinsically better by not, uh, unless they're trans women, in which case it's totally fine they have a penis because it doesn't matter how they were born or, or uh, what their biological sex is, only how they identify. And they actually managed to get rid of all of the like evil male that they were born with biologically by just identifying as a woman. So if you want to get rid of your evilness, you should probably just identify as a woman too. But like, you gotta be for real about it, otherwise it's just offensive ew. Anyway, so Ray more virtuous cause woman. Um, and so yeah, no, you don't need to worry about like her character writing or things like that. You just have to know intrinsically that she's great at everything and it totally makes sense that she's good at things because she's female, duh. Uh, also like she gets some extra privilege because let's look at it this way, like Jedi were kind of, you know, a persecuted race at like one point, like order 66, they got dead and stuff. Uh, so they were persecuted the way that Muslims are persecuted in this country. So like Jedi are basically Muslims. Therefore, Rey is like a Muslim woman, which even though she's white, it makes her more virtuous because she's the only religion that deserves protecting. So this brings me to another topic, right? This brings me to another topic, right? Because the room, there's another rumor about Ray right now, which is that like, where is she from? Where did she actually come from? There's a lot of talk about her being a clone. And now with this introduction of Palpatine, people are like, oh my God, maybe she's a Palpatine clone. Maybe she's a Darth Vader clone. And I'm like, uh, no, please God, no. That would be so offensive. Because, um, and sorry, I didn't mean to say God. I know that's like really offensive to some people. Please, uh, Earth Spirit, no. Uh, that would be so offensive because like, think about it. Then she's coming from a man. 
That's kind of like the Eve, you know, made from Adam's rib thing, which is of course like a super Christian idea. Uh, and never mind the Jews, they don't matter. Um, it's a super Christian idea. And, uh, and that's like really bad because like Christianity is evil too. Like Christianity is basically synonymous with being a white man, which as everybody knows is evil. So if you made Ray into that, into a clone of a man, you're basically just acknowledging Christianity as like a good thing, which everybody knows it's not. Christianity is like responsible for all of uh, the bad things in the world. Uh, because like I said, synonymous with white man. All right. <laughs> like feeling really triggered right now. I'm gonna go to my safe space because it's like really hard to talk about. Like I'm talking about white men and Christianity in the same sense. It's like a lot, okay? Like it's a lot. So I just need you to just give me a moment <laughs> to control my feelings. It's like really, really mad right now. Like I'm super outraged because like Christian men have hurt so many women. And it's just like really brave of, of Daisy Ridley to exist with these rumors that like she could, her character, Ray, could actually be part of the patriarchy. And this is like really difficult for me. She's so brave. Oh my God, how does she do it? She's like the bravest person. Anyway, so there's another rumor. There's a new rumor, which like makes everything better. And if this doesn't happen, it's clearly because Disney is racist and full of assholes, uh, which is that like Ray is a clone of Leia which would make so much sense. This would make all of the sense, guys, right? Because first of all, Leia's a woman, so it makes sense that she would come from a woman. Uh, and Leia's clearly super force sensitive because we saw her flying through space, which is like the greatest moment of The Last Jedi, when you're like, oh my God, get it, girl, yes! You just got blown up out of a ship and you're still so powerful. You don't need no man to save you. You can save your own life with the force, which is female anyway, because as we know, the force is female. So like, yes, girl, get it. Uh, anyway, so there's that, which is great. Um, so I feel like, oh my God, Ray is a clone of that. That makes so much sense. Because you know, they have that like super deep connection, which makes sense. It doesn't make sense that Leia would have a connection with Chewbacca. Like he's just a giant fuzzy man. He's just a man. He's just like an allegory for like a caveman, which is like the worst kind of man because they're all primal and toxic. Ew. So no, obviously she's going to like Rey better than Chewbacca, duh, because women are better. Uh, and so yeah, if she's a clone of hers, then it's like, oh, that connection makes so much sense. And like her force power makes so much sense because obviously without even training, Leia is way more force sensitive than Luke ever could be because she's a woman and therefore better and the force is female. So obviously women are going to connect better with the force than men are because science. Jeez. Get over your prejudices and just get on board because obviously I'm right. So, um, so yeah, so that is a great theory and I love this theory because that just means that she's a woman from a woman. Like she don't need no man, you know, just like, uh, just like Shmi Skywalker didn't need no man to make the previous most powerful Jedi in the world. Like Leia didn't need no man to create the, uh, most powerful new Jedi ever of all time. Uh, so that would be like the greatest plot point ever. And I really think that Disney needs to get on board of like, this is not what happens. Then I think that's just really, really insensitive. And I think that's just like, it's like an attack on women. I think it's like a female erasure, you know, if you don't actually do this. Um, I think it's like really, I think, I think at that point you could just say Star Wars is 100% sexist. Um, and that like all of the writers and anybody who likes anything about it, uh, is sexist if, if they don't go this route. Um, cause this is, I mean, this is obviously the most virtuous route you could take with this story. Am I wrong? I'm not wrong guys. Of course I'm not wrong. Blue hair, always right. Duh. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to, I wanted to like, you know, talk about that. I think that's just like, I think we'd be really excited if that's the case, if Rey is, is a clone of Leia. Um, cause then also like Rise of Skywalker, it makes sense now that she's a Skywalker. Duh, obviously, why didn't, why didn't y'all think of this before? Oh, right, because you're not women and women are smarter than everybody. So, want to talk about that. Want to talk about that. Want to talk about how Rey is just the best character in Star Wars. Um, except for like maybe, maybe Rose because Rose is Asian and therefore like, I know I said Rey is like an allegory for being a Muslim, but like that's only an allegory and like Rose Tico, like Kelly Marie Tran is legitimately an Asian person. Uh, and that makes her better. Whereas like Daisy Ridley in real life is not Muslim. She's just a regular white girl. So like, mm, I don't think we can separate the actors and the characters anymore. I think they're like basically the same people. So we have to go off of both of those things, which means that Ray's virtue is like a little bit less like because of Daisy Ridley than Kelly Marie Tran, who was like totally bullied more anyway. And so like, and being bullied is like another thing that makes you better. 
Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what I want to talk about today. So if you enjoyed this video, ah, fuck all that social justice, go ahead and oppress the like button, hurt its feelings, uh, violate its consent, do all those things to the like button that you want to do so badly. Take out all your feeling fifis on it. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure, yeah, so do that, subscribe, drop your comments, all of your interaction helps me so much, helps me grow. Check out all the links that are going to pop up here any minute now. Um, we've got one for LA Cheesesteak Reviews. It's my new channel, which me and a bunch of my, um, Philly, my Philly, ex-Philly companions, um, Travel around Los Angeles shitting on terrible cheesesteaks. It's super fun. Uh, there's going to be a link popping up for Jesse Shot First, the incredible shirt designed by that Star Wars girl. Um, and you can get that on my Teespring. Also, um, get involved with me. We'll tell you everything more you need to know about links to my Teespring to find my other designs, my Patreon, my PayPal, because YouTube loves demonetizing my videos. This is true. This is a real issue with me. They'll do that, and they'll have to request a review. And most of them get approved after the review process, but sometimes it takes 24 hours or more, at which point my video has already passed its peak, and I earn no money off of it. Um, so if you guys want to keep seeing me do this, consider supporting me in those other ways. Also, you can uh, find me on social media, on Twitter at Jesse Milestone, on Instagram at Milestone Entertainment. You guys are all the best. God Empress out.